हेलो चिल्ड्रन गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू आई वेलकम यू टू द वर्चुअल क्लासेस प्रेजेंटेड बाय जेट किड्स इंटरनेशनल स्कूल हुसर एंड दिस इज द पीरियड ऑफ क्लास टू एंड वी आर गोइंग टू टेक इंग्लिश इन दिस पीरियड एंड आर टॉपिक इज लेसन नंबर टू अंडर माय बेड सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू टेक ए शॉर्ट रिविजन इन दिस वीडियो ओके ऑफ लेसन नंबर टू अंडर माई बेड सो लेट एस डिस्कस द स्टोरी इन शॉर्ट Okay, so see, this is the story. Sometimes we see strange things that we do not that do not ex actually exist. Exist means that do not appear. That is not there only. Read the story to find out what a boy finds under his bed. Children, I explain you this story already. So we are going to discuss in short. Okay, I wake up at night feeling thirsty. The boy is saying that the boy is of your age only. Okay, and I want to get some water. I start looking for my slippers under the bed. Looking for means searching for something. Okay, and he's trying to find out something. And uh, slippers means loose, short shoes that you wear in the house. So okay, and slipper word you already know. It is a very familiar word. So see the picture of the boy. He's trying to find his sli uh, slippers. Okay, because he is feeling thirsty and he wants some water. Now what happened in the story next see So oh no there is a tiger under my bed Now what shall I do shall I call ma or what if the tiger comes out means the boy is afraid that okay he see uh, he saw under his bed something uh, like shining uh, the eyes and then he felt that he felt that there is a tiger and uh, that tiger is going to eat him and so he is uh, he got afraid Now what happened next in the story should i just go back to sleep but i am not sleepy anymore but because of the uh, fear uh, he is not getting uh, sleepy also so see there is a science scan in between the lesson tigers are the largest wild cats in the world so uh, tigers are the largest wild cats okay so th these are, uh, this is the uh, this is the name of the species okay or the types for your understanding tigers eat meat Okay, and that's why the boy felt that that tiger is going to eat him. They hunt for food at night generally. Tigers are very good swimmers and runners. So these uh, these all are about all are about the uh, qualities or the specialties of the tiger. Now let us see the meanings one time, and then we will uh, go back to the story once again. Looking for means trying to find, searching for. Okay, or searching for. Slippers means loose short shoes that you wear. in the house okay now coming back to the story see what happened then someone turns on the light and my is standing at the door what happened here did you call me did you call me now what is mean by turns on turns on means switches on ma switch on the light okay and ma ma is standing at the door okay and she asked that boy what happened here did you call me okay so see what happened in the next in the story I point towards the tiger. Okay, point means to indicate with the finger or with something held in hand. Like your teacher is pointing the you know, things on the board. Okay, like that. My uh, ma bends and pulls the tiger out from under the bed, and she took out something. Uh, in the story, it is said that tiger, but actually it is not. It was not a tiger. So see, and then what did the ma said? Ma said, ma said, hey. There is no tiger. This is my yellow. Then the boy said, "Not ma said, ma ma just show him." And the boy said, "This is my yellow and black sweater, and its buttons shine like tiger's eyes." The boy is speaking all these things, and the boy said that I got frightened for nothing. Means there was there was nothing, okay, to be frightened. And this he he got frightened for nothing. It happens many times with us also. Okay, like for rope, we are and uh, uh, assuming that there is a snake like that. Now I will sleep and dream about the real tigers in the jungle. So see, now I will. I am going to sleep, and he is dreaming about the real tigers in the jungle. So this is a, a story that I explain you in short. Now we are going to take the revision of the comprehension. Okay, so in the comprehension, uh, they have given us the true or false, the objective questions, and the. Answer the questions. Okay, so first of all, A. Mark the sentences as true or false. So, what is the first sentence? 
the boy starts looking for the tiger okay no false because the boy boy starts looking for his slippers okay number 2 the boy's mother switches on the light yes it is a true statement true the boy's father brings him water so wrong this is the false statement okay there is a real tiger under the boy's bed so again this is the wrong statement wrong statement means false okay now i hope you understood okay or the part will be re, uh, re, the part is revised now now let us move to the main part that is the question answer the questions okay question number b answer the questions so number 1 why does the boy wake up okay so the answer is the boy wakes up because he is feeling thirsty the boy wakes up because wakes up because he is feeling thirsty number 2 why is the boy frightened okay answer is the boy is frightened because he imagines that there is a tiger under the bed the boy frightened is frightened because he imagines that there is a tiger under the bed so next question see who is standing at the door question number 3 and the answer is ma the boy's mother is standing at the door ma means the mother of the boy's mother is standing at the door question number 4 is what does the boy's mother pull out from under the bed what does the boy's mother pull out from under the bed so she pulls out a yellow and black she pulls out a yellow and black sweater from under the bed okay so i hope you understood uh, these question answers also properly now see number 5 question number 8 what shine like the tiger's eyes under the bed what shine like the tiger's eyes under the bed and the answer is the sweater's button shone like a tiger's eyes under the bed here here should be tiger's eyes okay so you should put a apostrophe s and then you have to write the answer okay here is a print mistake so the sweater's button shone like a tiger's eyes under the bed so i hope you understood the question answer part now let us move to the vocabulary part words that express feelings okay we express or show our feelings using words number 1 number 2 body language number 3 facial expressions words means now i am uh, i am talking to uh, through the words okay in this video body language means uh body language means we are uh, while talking to someone we are doing we are using our hands and we are uh, so or we are moving our body okay so our body parts that is called as body language how we are standing how we are talking the way of uh, the talking by using our body uh, parts our body language facial expressions means uh, how do we, uh, how uh, are the expressions which comes on our face means like our eyes or eyebrows uh, and our and the smile and whatever the way of talking okay so that uh, whatever the expressions comes on our face that is called as facial expressions so we express our feelings through the words through the body language and through the facial expressions in the story the boy was feeling scared he was also feeling thirsty okay so scared and thirsty both are feeling words okay so in this uh, lesson we uh, learn about the feeling words so see again few uh, feeling words are there okay so uh, what are the feeling words which is uh, used in this lesson they are you have to learn okay like angry surprised excited happy sad scared shy tired so these are the feeling words that you have to learn it properly feeling words means the words which shows our feelings okay angry surprise excited happy sad scared shy and tired these all are the examples of the feeling words angry means you got angry when something is not happened according to your mood surprise means uh, when somebody gives you a gift okay unknowingly and then you um, then you, uh, you uh, then they give uh, your mama generally gives you surprise by celebrating your birthday or by bringing a new dress or something 
for you excited then you got the excited means uh, uh, means excited means uh, when i am going to do this thing and when uh, uh, means you are excited to do the thing happy means a good mood yes sad means you are getting nervous when the teacher scold you scared means something like uh, the worst in the story happened like scared the boy uh, was scared because of because he 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 felt that there uh, there was there is a tiger under his bed shy means some boys and girls are shy okay they they are feeling very shy okay means they are um, feeling nervous or something to talk eh? they are they hesitate to do something tired means uh, you uh, when after doing a lot of work you and mama got tired yes so these are the feeling words okay and that you have to use properly so i hope you understood and the part is revised properly now uh, you have to uh, study well okay children till then bye stay at home study properly okay children bye take care of you have a nice day